Welcome to Avatar Technology Digest. As always, we're bringing news on technology, medical cybernetics, and artificial intelligence every Monday. And here are the top stories of the last week. A brain implant that can decode what someone wants to do has allowed a man paralyzed from the neck down to control a robotic arm with unprecedented fluidity and enjoy a beer at his own pace for the first time in 13 years. When the 34-year-old Eric Sorter was shot in the back 13 years ago, he was left instantly paralyzed from the neck down. So it's one of the latest attempts at creating mind-controlled prosthetics to help disabled people gain more independence. Previous research targeted a region of the brain known as the motor cortex, which controls movement. The new technology of American scientists works by focusing and recording signals from a different brain region that usual the posterior parietal cortex, the PPC. The signals in the PPC are more related to movement planning, what you actually intend to do, rather than the details of the movement execution. Surgeons implanted a pair of small electrode arrays in two parts of the PPC of a sorter. The arrays were connected by a cable to a system of computers that preceded the signals. They decoded the intent of the subject and controlled output devices that included a computer cursor and a robotic arm. After recovering from the surgery, Sorter was trained to control the computer cursor and the robotic arm with his mind. He was also able to drink a beer independently for the first time in more than a decade. To do this, Sorter imagined whirling his arms like a windmill. That mental image triggered activity in several selected brain cells that in turn caused the robotic arm to move. Brain-controlled bionic legs are finally here. Now amputees can control their bionic prosthetic limbs with their minds thanks to tiny implanted myoelectric sensors developed by Icelandic orthopedics company Osur and surgically placed in the patient's residual muscle tissue. Osur implanted tiny sensors in the residual muscle tissue of two amputees that they say trigger movement in the prosthesis via a receiver. Also, President and CEO was due to announce last Wednesday that the two amputees are the first worldwide to be able to control their lower limb prosthesis subconsciously. The implanted myoelectric sensors measure 5 mm long and 3 mm wide and were provided by the United States-based Alfred Mann Foundation, which develops medical technology for use in patients. Patients' bodies continue to adapt to the prosthetic limbs more each day, allowing them increased control of it. The new technology allows the patient's brain to control both subconscious and intentional movements. The brain power, when it takes over, actually gives impulses through the brain into the muscles. Then the muscles contract. Scientists put sensors into the muscles and then the muscles would pick up the signals. And the signals move their way into the prosthetics and then the prosthetics react as the brain wants. Osir plans to continue assessing the technology with clinical trials and says it will be more of a technology upgrade for its current patients and anticipates that the system will be on the market within three to five years. An optometrist Garth Webb in British Columbia claims to have invented an easily implantable bionic device that provides the wearer with vision three times better than 2020 for life. This device appears to be very similar in structure to the conventional artificial lenses employed in cataract surgery. The 8-minute installation procedure is reportedly painless. It involves injecting the folder lens into your eye where it unfurls to replace your natural lens and correct your vision. There is also a big benefit that with these artificial lenses in place, you'll never develop cataracts. When it has unraveled within about 10 seconds, the vision is corrected and Dr. Webb claims it's three times better than 2020. Elsewhere, the lens is made of inert biocompatible polymetric materials that do not cause biophysical changes within the eye. The company plans to first test the lenses on animals before moving on to blind human trials. If it all goes according to plan, the lenses could receive approval in Canada by 2000. 2017. In our last video, we'd like you to pay close attention on Berkeley's Robert Brad, demonstrating human-like learning abilities and learning from his mistakes. Berkeley's researchers crafted a robot that can learn and get smarter all by itself after performing tedious tasks over and over again. Brad gets better at tasks after trying for a few minutes. It does appear like it could be human kind of learning how to move its joints for the first time, for instance. In fact, the researchers have all sorts of video of Brad solving simple problems all by himself. All you have to do is define what is good and the robot will learn how to achieve good performance, say researchers. Brad is expensive and he's really meant to live in a research lab. But the sort of learning he's doing is key for the kinds of robots that might one day come home with you and help you out around the house. And that is all for Avatar Technology Digest. You're welcome to subscribe, follow us on social media and join the global conversation. Take care and see you next Monday.